This is a prehistoric fish, a sleek killer patrolling the Amazon. Its body has no frills or fancy fins. It's simple and streamlined, built for speed and power. The arowana has two large, highly mobile eyes near the top of its head, so it can scan both the water around it and the air above. This way, it can watch for predators and its usual prey, other species of fish. But at this time of year, the Amazon is flooding the surrounding forest, and fish are few and far between. Plants that were near the tops of trees are now down at water level. These provide shelter for insects and spiders escaping the flood. These ants and spiders apparently have little to fear, as the floods have pushed large insect eaters like the tamandua out of the area. But there's an unexpected killer lurking here, one with just the right approach. The arowana, or water monkey as it's known locally, is no ordinary fish. The arowana cruises just under the surface of the water, using its specially adapted eyes to look for insects in the overhanging foliage. Once it spots potential prey, it moves very slowly being careful not to disturb the water surface and alert the spider. The odds are in the arowana's favor. Glare and reflection from the water surface will hide it, and the spider is unlikely to expect an attack from below. The fish uses its binocular vision to align itself perfectly for the kill. It takes the image from each eye, triangulating them to pinpoint the position of the spider. Adjusting the image slightly for water refraction, it locks on. Once locked on, it slowly draws its immensely powerful body up into an S-shape. This acts like the compression of a spring, so that when it releases the energy by straightening its body, it's propelled upwards clean out of the water. The propulsion from its body drives it over three feet, one meter into the air. It then opens its cavernous mouth and engulfs the totally unsuspecting spider. Arowanas belong to a group of fish called the bony tongued fish, named after the toothed bone on the floor of the mouth. This is covered in tiny teeth that bite against the roof of the mouth. It then twists its body back round, re-entering the water head first, ready for anything that may await it below. The arowana may be a fish out of water, but it's also a fish out of time.